Hi, I'm Angelica Semmelbauer. I'm an art advisor based in New York City, and we're here today in the studio of painter David Stern. I was always fascinated with closed doors. What's fascinating about this whole idea about the threshold is that unrevocably, once you cross it, you are in a different quality. Most of the time, there's no turning back. Once you are awake, aware of things, you cannot turn a blind eye back on, on, and say, I haven't seen this. So the only way an observer, and an artist is an observer, uh, can actually observe is by retracting from the action. It's not our nature to be in the, you know, to be in the now. Although the now is the only really, really important moment. So there's nothing else. There's no yesterday and then there's no tomorrow. There's just this moment. And that is also one of the reasons why I became a painter, because I want to stay in the now. Pigment is virtually stone in my work, uh, like ground up ochre, uh, umber. These are earth pigments. You have them in dry form, I make my paint, and then they're fluid, and then they become dry again, and they become stone again. And that is what is thrilling about the idea of having that moment frozen in time. It's like all painting is on one hand is about the spiritual and it is about the physical world as well. So it's all three things combined and that is the human experience basically. Is at a certain point, you know, you are connecting to something which is larger than yourselves. Painting is discipline based. You need the knowledge of the figure if you work with the figure. You need the knowledge about the paints, about the color. And then, yes, you know, on an informed basis, you can forget about things. And you can say, you know what, that's not important to me. So my knowledge of the figure, you know, accumulated over like 40 years, uh, allows me to work without models, without photographs, without anything. I can make a figure. Meanwhile, I found a personal way of abstraction, which gives me the chance to somehow uh, combine abstract expressionist movements or moves together with figuration. In terms of color, I have not been ever a painter of color, more like a painter of light. Maybe it's because of a northern European background. There's a different type of light. David, I remember when I came into your studio the first time, I mean, seeing all those pigments that you mix yourself to create that beautiful color, and it's your unique color. But then when you see this palpable sense of movement, look at all these accidental qualities, the dripping, the forceful energy of it. Was it accidental? Was it intentional right from the start? That moment of creating that space allows for movement. Might sometimes, in order to enhance movement, you would actually put the screaming color in the background and put the more subdued color in the foreground. The magic of painting is to let the observer complete the painting, so not giving all the answers. The painting should still ask questions. It should not give answers.